Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Great Lightworks video version 14. Previous to my videos we were doing some timeline editing and as such we are still doing timeline editing because there are a lot of functions and tools that we need to cover. So once you have imported your videos as such then what you want to do is right click on V1 and under segment commands as you can see we've covered the delete and remove function in my previous video however there's four other functions that we haven't seen before previous to lightworks version 12.6 it's called slip slide trim in and trim out and as you can see those those little icons it gives you a basic overview of what the function does as you can see the arrows but first we're gonna start off with slip so slip is a useful tool if for example you have a clip such as this and if we would make a cut so a cutting what you want to do is just to press on delete on the keyboard and as such we've got two sections now so what slip does if we would move the red line to the section of view that we want the effect to be on and we click right click again and click on slip now these two yellow brackets should appear along the video bar and as you can see the cursor has a double headed arrow pointing either way and that means that we can drag the video along the entire video to capture a section that we want and as you can see this section here also displays both videos so this section here corresponds to the right video and this section here corresponds to the left video and when you move it along it will move the video along as well so this is a basic tool but it also helps a lot as well and of course since this requires a lot of rendering it may not work on all computers depending on your graphics card and CPU but other than that it's a great tool to have uh, once you just click on close so next tool that we're going to overview is slide so right click again and click on slide now slide is a very great tool as well because as you can see there's a yellow bracket and a double headed arrow alongside the cursor and when we drag the video along it will extend or shorten the video depending on what you want as you can see and what we want to do is to close it again and for example if we would want to make three cuts as such and we use the slide function again we drag it along as you can see it will position that particular part of the video alongside any part of this video that you want so if you want to position it right there you move it there of course and if you want to position it there then you move it there so it only captures that little bit but first you have to cut that section before you can slide it along the video like that once again click on close to close the tool next up is the trim in and trim out now these are similar in the fact that they have the same function but one trims in and one trims out as the names suggest so what you want to do is to move the red line to the part that you want so we're going to start off with this middle section here right click click on trim in and this should appear and as you can see this trims in so the yellow bracket is on the left hand side for this tool to work as you can see the cursor is near the yellow bracket and that sideways U is showing that means that you can move the video to the left and it will shorten the video or you can move it to the right and it will lengthen that particular video also notice that this video is attached to this video so it will move alongside the video as well as you can see once you finish again click on close and trim out also works the same as well 
but this time the yellow bracket is on the end part so on the right hand side of the video and once again move the cursor to near the yellow bracket until you see that upside down U and move the video along as well. So this works either way as such. You can lengthen and shorten the video but this time it's on the other side of the video. So if you want this section here to be lengthened or shortened then you use the trim out tool. Once again click on close. So there we go guys that's the four functions that we've covered the segment commands uh, right now we are going to finish that off unclick that and go to sequence command so click on that and under tracks as you can see there's a bunch of options most of these are basic to understand as adding a video adding an audio or adding multiple audio or video tracks so functions adds a track to the timeline but however this tool here add multiple when you click on that it will come up with this dialog box so you can add as many tracks as you want so video or audio number to add etc you can name it whatever you want but I'll just leave it as automatic and you can choose the location so before V1 or after V1. Same goes for the audio. You can choose the location after A1 or A2 or any other options here between or before. And also as such as you can see if we click on 2 this option will appear as well. Create as stereo pairs so if for example you are going to import some stereo music or anything you would tick that box. And that's it for the adding part. Another good tool to use is the ungroup tool. So once you click on that, it will come up with this dialog box where this title is ungroup. And there's one option there, A1, A2. If we would go to this section here, as you can see, there's a line between A1 and A2. This means that they are connected because this video has stereo audio that means that the audio is in stereo mode another version of that is mono mode which means that there will only be one audio bar so to ungroup it click on that and ok and as such if we move to this section again there's no line connecting the two together if you want to group the audio pairs then you would either click on group audio or make stereo pairs make stereo pairs just automatically does it otherwise then you would click on group audio which comes up with a dialog box for many other options if for example you have a lot of audio tracks so to click on that then you would click on a2 and a1 and click on ok and as such a line should be seen connecting the two together this comes to the end of this video, I hope you do enjoy, please leave a like, share, subscribe. If you do have any problems regarding how to edit in Lightworks, please post any comment down below and I'll try to solve the problem as soon as possible. Otherwise, share with your friends, see you soon guys, bye.